As we enter prom season, there is a very heated debate over the safety when it comes to stretch limos. And this debate has played out in New York State. There's an ongoing battle between some lawmakers who actually want to ramp up regulations. That in the wake of the accident that killed 20 people in upstate New York last year. Now, the industry that is trying to prevent new rules are also making their case. Well, our own Ray Ramundi, he spoke with people on all sides of the issue. It's the time of year where celebrations are constant. Whether it's prom or graduation, we are in peak season for joyous gatherings. And it's the time of year limo companies look forward to the most. But do you know what to ask for? Before you enter into a stretch limousine, do you know what to check for in order to ensure a night of celebration doesn't turn into tragedy? No parent should have to bury their child. She never had a chance to live her life, to live her dreams. Without these laws being adjusted, the next nightmare may very well be yours. A limo ride indeed became a tragedy for the families of those who were involved in horrific limousine crashes on Long Island back in 2015 and in upstate New York last October. History has been made in the state of New York. In less than four years, there has been 24 deaths related to limousine transport and its flaws. Nancy DeMonte testifying in front of a New York Senate Transportation Committee hearing in Albany last week. Nancy's daughter, Joelle, was one of four passengers who survived that deadly Kutchog limo crash. Four of her friends, however, didn't see another day. The idea of knowing that four friends perished in one fell swoop in seconds has got to be an incredibly traumatic feeling that none of us can empathize with. The May 2nd Senate hearing once again placing limo safety and regulation in the center of a contentious debate between family members of those who were killed or survived limo crashes and the limousine company industry. Victims of the crashes are calling for more regulations, including mandatory commercial driver's licenses for limo drivers, training programs, seat belts, side impact airbags, and rollover protection bars. The right. question is, do we have the oversight in place to make sure nothing slips through the cracks? That's what this legislation is about. Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara represents the district where that Schoharie limo crash happened on October 6, 2018. 20 people died in that crash, 17 passengers, the driver, and two pedestrians in a nearby parking lot. The owner of that limo now faces criminally negligent homicide charges for not taking the vehicle, which had failed inspections, out of service. Santa Barbara introducing two bills on limo regulation. One of them will create a one-stop shopping database for limousine company records. This should be much easier for consumers to look up the information. We should have that information readily available day or night on, on a database that's maintained. Lawmakers and those who lost loved ones as a result of fatal limo crashes continue to push for more regulation against limo companies. But limo company owners say there's a crucial part of the conversation that has not been talked about which can help to save lives. And that's the installation of technology inside these vehicles. Devices such as cameras, which monitor the interior of the vehicle, monitor the exterior of the vehicle, black boxes such as GPS that tells you how fast the vehicle is going every two minutes. A lot of these will deter what's going on. John Cater, one of a contingent of limousine industry leaders who says New York is one of the most regulated states in the country. Limo owners and transportation advocates say the current laws in place are enough. The solution here is better communication, closing the loopholes and better enforcement. Despite the ongoing battle over limo safety regulation, both sides undoubtedly agree that passengers also bear the responsibility of safety as well. So before you enter that stretch limo, make sure you check the inspection stickers and research the company's safety records before making the final deal. Ray Ray Mundy, Fios One News. Thank you, Ray, and we'll continue to follow the progress or lack thereof of that legislation in Albany. We'll be right back, so please stay with us.